Okay, I just uh, had a couple quick tips uh, and wanted to show you a new toy device that I, I got that I think will make uh, your life easier on doing looms and working with our virtual technology now. Um, the one thing is, um, the first thing is that you'll notice that my mouse or my arrow here is in, in hand to highlight things is much bigger and different colors. And so you'll notice that if you go somewhere like here, you notice my pointer now is much larger and black. And if I go to another periodic table here, the hand is much bigger, changes colors to contrast. Now, if you would like to do that, because what I found is that when I'm working, uh, I do a looms uh, several times a week with the students present. And I try to uh, show things on the smart board and I tend to point in class. So I wanted something a little bigger and more visible um, to make it easier to do. Um, I'm looking for a mouse that I can actually move around and use as a pointer and take off the desk. I haven't found that yet, but I think that's available. I just need to do a little more research on getting one that's cost uh, that's more priced where it can be affordable. But to do uh, this, you would go to your <coughs> settings menu, uh, go down to ease of access, okay? And this allows you to do several things, uh, change the size of apps and things. And uh, one of the things that you can do is click on here uh, and change your cursor and pointer size. You can make the thickness a little bit bigger. Uh, the normal size would be highlighted here. And so I have checked to highlight this larger size. And I've also checked to change the pointer color from the clear uh, outline white to a black, or sometimes it changes other colors. So you can see that um, I've, I've changed some of this. I think this works good uh, when you're working on a loom and you need to uh, be able to <coughs> highlight stuff. You can see that this mouse or this uh, cursor pointer is much more uh, visible and the cursor up here is much more visible when you are, are using the loom. The other thing you'll notice that I've got on a, uh, a headphone, I, I picked this up. I, I really uh, can't show you the other piece. It's a Bluetooth microphone. Now to use this device with your um with your computer, you will need to not only purchase the um, <clears throat> mouse or the uh, microphone and the Bluetooth device is plugged in now, but you'll also, if you have a newer laptop, you will need to pick up a splitter that looks like uh, this. It has a speaker on one side and microphone on the other, and this plugs into your single microphone jack that you have on most of the new laptops, then you can use this. So what this would do, allow you to do, is if you move away from the uh, screen and we're working at the smart board and we're away from your laptop computer, your uh, microphone would be still attached and close enough to you, especially if you're wearing a mask and you're somewhat muffled, unlike me who uh, volume is not a problem even with the masks. So I just wanted to show you that. I've also picked up a, and, and this little, uh, the little microphone set, the headset microphone is, uh, you don't want to get one with speakers in it because you want to still be able to play your speakers outside. So you want just the mic. And this one, uh, Sandra got it for me. It was $29.99. You'll need to pick up a, a two pack is what I picked up of the little uh, jacks. Uh, they came in a two pack for $6.99. So you could share that with another teacher, maybe the cost if, if two of you were getting those. Like I said, I also picked up a uh, Bluetooth uh, cam for my desktop, which uh, also has the microphone built in. So I'm able to do some looms from my desktop as well, uh, which sometimes makes it easier than uh, sitting up here at the smart board uh, when you're <clears throat> working at your desk with some papers and things. So 
just wanted to share this with everybody. I uh, hope it helps uh, and uh, maybe you'll get some use out of it. Thanks.